hi hello it's Anne welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel or if you are a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by hope you press the like button and the subscribe button after this video or even during whatever you feel like so this is a very 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 random video I did not really plan this out but I just came from an inuman with my family and I decided to shoot this video <laughs> So yeah, no prepping, I'm wearing my pambahay, let's keep it simple. So it is September 5 today, and if you know me, it is 5 days before my birthday. I've learned a couple of things, and I thought I'd share this with you for this random 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 video. So if you'd like to stay, grab a drink if you were legal. If not, drink some water, let's have a little heart to heart session and talk about life. So 10 things I've learned by the age of 22. Number one, keep your circle small. I cannot stress this on enough. It really is true what people say, quality over quantity, because I'm sure by your lowest of days, one or two friends are going to totally beat 10 people any day. I feel like it's healthier to have a small group of people because I used to think that the more friends, the bigger group, the better. But sometimes I feel that it's more genuine to keep your circle small. Sometimes it's inevitable that other people would talk about you behind your back if you're a bigger group. So I prefer not to have that, any of the drama, no thank you. So, <laughs> number two. By the age of 22, you have to ingrain in your brain the rhymes. Nice one. Then ingrain in your brain that life isn't supposed to be figured out by now. And that's going to be okay. You're going to feel completely lost. You're going to continuously think, what is my purpose in life? What am I meant to do? And you're just gonna be left with all questions and no answers and that's gonna be okay. I know that a lot of people, it really takes time for you to figure out what you really want to do. I know some people who entered their dream job, then after a year, they shifted and found something completely different. You may never find the answer right away, but that's gonna be okay because you have a whole lot of life ahead of you, a lot of experiences, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. No matter how cheesy it sounds, we're all brought into this world for a purpose, and you have a purpose, you just haven't found it yet. Number three, pace yourself. Pace yourself. Some people may be running directly towards their goal. Other people are just approaching it or other people may not even know what their goal is. You have to always keep in mind to go at your own pace rather than comparing yourself to other people because, you know, like, it's, it's a waste of time to completely think, oh, I should be like her, look at how successful she is, maybe I should be like that. But you guys are living two completely different lives, so might as well just focus on your own and see what, where your pace takes you. Number four, you have nothing, nothing, to anyone no matter what you do in this world especially online if you do good people will talk negative things about you if you do bad people will still talk negative things about you so might as well do something that caters to your happiness that caters to your growth as a person rather than fitting yourself or like forcing yourself to fit into society standards do something that makes you happy because at the end of the day that's all you have like when you encounter someone talking negative things about you, just smile, nod, walk away, goodbye, goodbye. We don't need that energy, no Karens allowed here. Number five, always learn how to admit to your faults, allow to be called out by your closest friends, and call yourself out if you know that you are doing something wrong. In reality, we do experience having a lot of toxic people in our lives, but sometimes we forget that we ourselves could be toxic to other people too, or our, even our own friends. Do some self-checking, self-reflecting, and once you see the problem, address it. That's the only way to fix it. It's never too late to improve yourself, to fix yourself, but it will only work if you want to. Number six, as much as how important it is to surround yourself with really good people learn how to be so comfortable in your own company take yourself out on dates go to the spa get your nails done 
eat some ice cream, go to the restaurant. I mean, I'm talking about all pre pre pandemic dates. It's so important to take care of yourself, no matter how cheesy it is. You're the only you in this world. That's my dog. So you're the only you in this world and you have to remember that I'm pretty sure we don't exist just for ourselves but we exist for all the people we encounter. You are someone's sister, you are someone's brother, you are someone's child, you are someone's friend. They are so grateful to have you in their life. So take care of yourself and enjoy your company. And number seven, some relationship advice. Whether it's romantic or friend friendly, keep in mind that it always takes two holes to make a relationship work, not two halves. I feel that we shouldn't really believe in the saying that find somebody who completes you because you should enter every relationship relying on not only the person but yourself too. Hold to the point that you can live and survive and take care of yourself on your own without that other person. So in every relationship, it works both ways. Both of you have to learn how to grow and nurture one another together while figuring yourself out individually number eight say nicer things to yourself I don't know how you may feel hurt by other people's words and stuff but to me i feel that most of us are hurt by the words we say to ourselves because that's what like really drills in or like super puts salt on the wound no matter what size you are, no matter how tall, how big, how small, thank your body, learn how to love your body, learn how to say kinder things to your body because without it, you wouldn't have been able to experience really great things. This is a message not only to the person watching my video but to myself too. It's something I have to constantly learn because I am like my biggest critic. It's really unhealthy when you say negative things to yourself or think negative things about yourself. Number nine, when you're so angry, learn how to take pauses. You would never want to regret something you said at the heat of the moment. Take pauses or even count deep breaths, something I'm still constantly trying to learn. Basti, my boyfriend, used to give me this tip. He said, if you're really really angry with the situation say the word bubbles because you can never say that word in an angry tone like can you imagine being so angry and you'll be like bubbles bubbles like that's not gonna work out and that kind of helped take pauses and get my mind off the moment number 10 last point and one of the most important things always 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 be kind even if it's somebody you just met on person or online but i want to stress more of online since we are all mostly online and not seeing each other face to face you guys have to take into consideration that we are only seeing a speck of a person's life behind their videos behind their pictures on instagram or anything that you see on instagram it's just a speck of their life and you have no clue on what's happening behind all of that so choose kindness i mean you won't lose anything by being kinder to someone i feel like you'll be you'll lose more things being mean like you lose your time you lose your energy what's the point of being mean it's useless don't say things you wouldn't want to be said to you. Always choose kindness over anything. Even if it's a Karen approaching you. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's 10 things I've learned by the age of 22. It's a constant process and constantly learning and how to be a better person, a better daughter, better sister, a better human in general. Thank you for watching this video. This is a very, very random video. Very personal. Personal vlogs, I guess. Because I'll be looking back at this one day and think, wow, that's what you learned at 22. How about at the age of 30 or like 40 or when you have kids? Like, it's crazy. Thanks for watching and feel free to send me your comments. I always reply and thanks for stopping by.